You see all this? This is like 50 items that sold at auction this weekend. And that is not even everything that sold this weekend. That's just what we got to knock out here first. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Ben, aka Ready, Set, Resell. And here on my YouTube channel, I show you all about my online reselling business. And today's video is going to be a little vlog style video. And like I said, this is going to be my first order of business. I got to get all that stuff packed up and shipped out. I'm not going to bore you with all that because if you were at that auction, you already know everything that was in there. But I will show you some of the stuff that sold on eBay here in just a second but first let me get this stuff packed up Well, that is a lot of packages right there. And like I said, we are still not done. I still have to go through all of the eBay sales from this weekend. I'm not gonna show you them all, but I'll show you some interesting ones. And actually, the first item going out today is Mr. Buzz Lightyear right here. He sold for 40 bucks. Then we've got a video game, Magna Carta, which also sold for 40. Another game, Super Smash Brothers for 75. The Walking Dead, season nine for 14. And then our first piece of clothing, which is over here in Bin S. Here we go. And actually, our items right here on top, we got some Athleta leggings that sold for 25. Moving on, got a couple more pieces of clothing, and this next one was a very, very good sale. Check out this guy right here. It's a vintage wrestling The Colony t-shirt. Now, when I found this and I went to list it, I couldn't find any exact comps for this guy out there. I couldn't find it anywhere on eBay. I couldn't find it reverse image searching. So I figured it might be a bit of a rare shirt. So I decided to go ahead, list it high at $150 on the chance that someone would buy it. And it just sold for a best offer of $127. Just goes to show with vintage t-shirts, people are willing to pay up for one-off rare items. So don't be afraid to list them high. At least that's the strategy I take. I might sit on it for a while, but eventually a best offer will come in and you can get some great sales that way. And actually it looks like our next piece is right here in Bin D. And unfortunately it doesn't look like this guy is right on top. So I'm gonna have to dig through this. There it is, we got an A-Rod jersey that sold for 50 bucks. Then we've got this vintage Lee Stormrider jacket that sold for 95. And I mentioned this in the video when I picked it up, there's the tag right there. But what you wanna look for in these vintage jackets is this wool lining on vintage Lees and Levi's. If you see that wool lining, it's going to increase the value dramatically. Some more DVDs, Better Call Saul, two seasons of it, sold for 20. Three seasons of Stranger Things, sold for 30. And if for some reason you haven't seen Stranger Things, go watch it, it's pretty good. And then the last two DVDs going out, two seasons of Orville, also sold for 20. Moving on to some cycling gear, we've got, we've got not one, but two of these Cat Eye Velo bike computers that sold for 25 bucks each. And also this cycling helmet that sold for a whopping 160 bucks. That's a nice one right there. I also had two sets of these Wally patches sell for 13 bucks each. Some Starbucks espresso mugs for 30. Another baseball jersey that sold, David Ortiz for 45. And then finally, I had a few sales of some roughwear items. I just picked up more of this stuff over the weekend from another local vendor. The first piece is actually right here at the bottom of this bin. And that is this high vis dog vest right here that sold for 40. This set of Grip Trex dog boots sold for 40. And this set of Summit Trek dog boots sold for 30 and I think that's all I'm gonna show you for now before this gets too repetitive for now though I'm going to pack all this stuff up and I will see you in just a second and there we go just like that everything is packed up and ready to get out to the post office I say just like that because for you guys that was only a couple seconds for me that took a lot longer <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this stuff down to the post office and then after this, we're actually gonna do something different. We're gonna go on a private pick, which typically is something that I don't show you guys here on my channel. I do quite a few of them, but I don't like to show them too much, but this one is a little interesting because I bought some video games from a yard sale a few weeks back. I'll pop the picture up right here of everything that I grabbed and it was a bunch of video game stuff. Well, the person I bought it from gave my number to one of her friends who also had a bunch of video game stuff that they might wanna get rid of. So her 
friend texted me and sent me some pictures of the stuff that she had. There's some pretty interesting games in there that are worth some decent money, so I figured this would be a fun little switch up of things to do and show you guys, so hopefully this turns out to be a pretty good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on my GoPro, and I'll see you over at this private pic. Come on in. I was just Hi. I see Guys, you all. Stop it. <laughs> it's okay. They were just excited. Uh, yeah, she's like, oh my god, it's a new person. <laughs> Did you check them and make sure the games and stuff were inside? I'm assuming. Double check. Okay, but I I'm will. I'm pretty sure it went through, especially like with the Vitas. Yeah. Because those are my, you know, my kid had Vita for a long time and then my dad traded in for something else. And I was like, dude, seriously? <laughs> So there's more manga. Wow. And more manga and more manga. All this stuff. Yes. Well, cool. What Depending would you? Depending on what you would be interested in, I might. Some of it I wouldn't be willing to sell, and some I, I would. Well, if I, I mean, we don't have to do everything today. Like I said, I come down this way every Wednesday. So if you wanted to go through and get like a, you know, see what you'd want to sell, what you wouldn't want to sell. I just I have an overwhelming amount of stuff, and this isn't even all of it. This is just what I had, and I've added to since then. Well, if you have any in here that you know you want to sell today, we can pull them and I, you know, just let me know what you want on them. Seventy-five. What, what were we at on the manga? Uh, we were at sixty for the manga because there was like what thirty-three books. Okay. So that puts us at one thirty-five. So if we do, so there's four figures. Do you say like ten a piece on the figures? How about how about like one seventy-five for everything? Would that work? Sure. Cool. Take the shirts and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. That cool. works for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Okay. That just turned out to be an even better stop than I originally thought, and it could pay off even bigger in the future. I originally was just going to meet her for the video game stuff because that's what she had texted me about, but before I left my house, I texted her and I was like, hey, I'm also into you know, toys and video games and anime figures and manga because I knew that's what the friend that gave her my number was into, and it did not disappoint. This is why you tell people what you're interested in. I just came away with a huge box full of various like anime and manga items that I was not expecting originally. And not only that, on top of all this stuff here, you guys probably seen in the video, she just had bookcases and uh, shelves full of various manga and anime DVDs that she said she will go through and get back to me on. So <laughs> that is the kind of stop that you wanna have, the kind of interaction you wanna have when you're meeting up with people. Also, I want to point out that I did pay up on some of the stuff in this deal that she wanted to be paid up on, like some of the anime figures, a few of the manga, a few of the video games, and that is completely fine with me. I will pay a little bit more on a deal like this that's going to lead to future deals because if she's happy, she's more likely to sell me some stuff in the future, which means I'm going to make more money in the future. So do not be afraid to pay up on some stuff if you know that it could lead to a future partnership with that person. But like I said, I'm not exactly sure what some of that stuff in there is worth. I'm definitely going to have to go through it and price it out. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and head home. I'll see you guys when I get back there. All right, back home now, and we are going to go ahead and dig into this big box of anime and video game goodness. Remember, I paid $175 for everything you see here. Let's see what's inside. All right, so let's jump in here. We'll start with the clothing. So first up here, got a pair of socks. These are Ryuk from Death Note. Then we've got this Trigun t-shirt, a Fooly Cooly t-shirt, and finally a Dead Man Wonderland t-shirt. Now let's do the video games. So these four right here are just some filler titles for the Wii. Um, not really anything exciting there. That'll just probably get bundled with a system. But here are the ones that I originally went for. First up, we got Valkyria Chronicles for the PlayStation 3. Then we've got La Pusil Tactics. I don't know if I said that one right. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy Echoes of Time. Dragon Quest Swords. This one is one of the reasons that I originally went and met up with her because this is a good game right here. The last story, it is like the collector's box edition. So that is a nice piece. Followed by some PS Vita games, we got Sword Art Online. Here's another really good one, Sly Cooper the Collection on the PS Vita. That's another high dollar one. Followed by another one that caught my eye, Trials of Cold Steel. And then the final two games were loose PS Vita games. We got the Lego Lord of the Rings and Rayman Legends. 
Moving on, I ended up grabbing a few figures from her as well. I think this one right here is Gintama. I could be wrong on that. <laughs> this one's iconic. Here we got a JoJo's figure. This one I'm not really sure about. I don't know what show this is from, but she was willing to get rid of it, so I grabbed it. And the final figure here is Sasuke from Naruto. Next also got some DVDs. We got Red Garden, the complete series. Mononoke, the complete series. The Eden's Bowie collection. World Break on Blu-ray. Here's an iconic one, Gurren Lagann. It's a complete collection, DVD. And the final DVD set here, Ghost Hound, the complete collection. And now all that's left in the box is a few different manga series. Here are some of the individual books that weren't part of a series. We got Destiny, Blue Sky, Total Surrender, Solitaire, Manic Love, and Seven. Here's our first set right here. It is The Gentleman's Alliance, one through 11. Then we've got Her Majesty's Dog, one through six. Mythical Beast Investigator, one and two. And then finally, the last series, we've got Haunted Hot Springs, one through eight. Now, outside of the video game stuff, I have no idea what all that was worth, so you guys will probably know because I was popping up comps most likely as I was going through it with you, but as of right now, as of the time of me filming this, I don't know if I did well or not on that $175 purchase, so fingers crossed I did. I do think that I did pretty well just because of my past experience selling stuff like this. Either way, that pick right there was super fun for me. Anytime I can go into a collector's house to go pick through their collection, I usually end up having a really good time, especially when it's stuff like video games and anime and manga or like vintage t-shirts, stuff like that, I stuff that I enjoy as well. We can sit there and talk about it and then come to a deal it's always a good time for me so I really enjoyed this pick overall and speaking of enjoying things if you enjoyed this video go down low let me know down in the comments that you did also while you're down there hit that like button for me it lets me know that you enjoy this content and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this otherwise that's gonna wrap things up for it so I will see you guys in the next one till next time keep on treasure hunting peace